Hey, welcome to Gracie Schwarzwald. I'm here with Erkan Mete. We're going on with our complete Gracie Jiu-Jitsu self-defense course, and we're focused on takedowns right now. And right now, we're going to work on some uh, entries into the high crotch. So sometimes it's called like a head outside single. One thing I tell people, especially when you're first learning this, and you'll see this later when we cover the single leg, is don't come in shooting for a single leg with your head on the outside. I see so many people come in here and try that. And all that happens is you get guillotined. There's ways to do it correctly, okay? And this is one of them, okay? I don't want to be directly in front of him with my head on the outside, okay? I want to be able to cut an angle or get his weight past me where it's hard for him to reach around my neck. And I want, as always, my head posture. So if I came in like this and you tried to guillotine me, we covered this earlier, right? In the guillotine, standing guillotine defense, one of the main thing being the posture, right? We'll cover techniques later when we return to the standing self-defense. But for now, we're gonna go here. So we're gonna start with, in this position, he has a collar tie, a single collar tie here. He, now on this side, he doesn't have control of my wrist. I need to make sure that this arm is free. Okay, so if he has control of my wrist, I simply reverse, reverse the situation. This arm, I wanna cup and pull his elbow to me. Okay, I do not want him to draw his elbow to his body and be able to pull me down. So here he tries to pull me down, we're here. Another option, which I really like, is simply he comes in and I just bring my hand in and I can just rest my hand on the inside. So maybe I have head control, but I'm inside here. I do not let him control my wrist. So let's say I'm here or I'm here. Now my head, I don't wanna have it in tight like this. I'm actually gonna have my head in front of his head here. So what I wanna do from here is I wanna pull him and open this elbow, giving me space. As I do, you can take a step with this if you want. I usually, because I'm so close, I don't have to. I'm gonna drop my right knee and do like an uppercut right between his legs. So I go here and here. Some people like to reach down here. I like to bring my arm up. It's a personal preference. This is a good way to stop him sprawling. But when I'm up controlling the legs, it's here. Most important thing is look at my posture. My head is up. If he tries to reach back to guillotine me, it's very awkward for him. Okay, my head was here. Not only can he sprawl, he can guillotine me. If I'm here, sprawl. Here. So it's very important. And the way I tell people is don't worry about the knee. Worry about the uppercut. That'll force you to lift your head. So we're here. I'm going to pull him. I want him to fall almost over me. So when I go... See how he's bent over? That's what I want. So this is our entry. This knee is down. Try not to, when you're practicing, try to put your knee all the way on the ground. I see a lot of people get lazy, and they kind of go like this, but now look at my posture. It's all kinds of compromised. So I put my knee down, and I'm not just looking here. I'm looking up. Okay? So we're here. Let's turn this way. Here I might be pushing him, moving around a little bit, and then when I feel him go, I'm here, okay, so let's do this side. So we're gonna go over our first finish with this. Um, and it's just gonna be a lift and dump. This looks like it takes a lot of power and it doesn't, really. Just like we covered before, I wanna just drive my hips into him. If I try to pick him up like this, he's very heavy. If I pop my hips, and take his space out from underneath him, he comes off the ground. Now, I don't have to lift him super high. Um, once his feet is off the ground, his feet are, is off the ground. His feet are off the ground. Okay. <laughs> I'm the American, I sh should understand English, but here. Now, where people have trouble standing up is they're like this. I'm gonna turn my knee and turn my body this way. See how my back is straight and my posture is good. I'm gonna lock my hands. I'm gonna pop my hips and pick them up. Now I'm gonna rotate this way, okay? So it's very important that I have good posture. My back is not rounded, okay? I lock my hands this way, whatever is comfortable for you. To be nice to your partner, don't go straight up the middle and give him a split, okay? Go off right at the flex here. So we're here, I drop. I turn my knee to square up with him, step my leg, my hips pop, I lift, I turn, and I'll be nice, and just drop him. 
In reality, we can go Daniel Cormier, put him on his face. Okay, one more time, I'll just pick him up. Here, he comes in, look, I can even block here and go this way, here. Really want to emphasize, not trying to stand up like this, because if he's putting weight on me, it's going to be hard, but look, I rotate my body, step, there. And it's not as heavy as you think. This is a, you know, fun for you, scary for him, and uh, something to really try. And we're going to go over a couple of takedown options from here. But that's our first one, duck under to the lift and dump.